going on you guys today we got a little quick little video not quick video but like a late night video because I'm I need to be quiet again I know I started off quite loud but I forgot I need to be quiet so what the fuck is going on here I don't know why, I'm, why my mouse is doing that but okay video topic how to my render settings and what I do and all that stuff so firstly I use Sony Vegas Pro 9.0 so open that I already got it open file import import your clip whatever you want to use let's see I got a set clip here right here this is a match from today so hopefully it's pretty decent come on uh, yeah it takes a while to import it because it is such a pretty big file what is it like a nine minute video alright so this is a match of hardcore search and destroy let's just clip it anywhere what the fuck clip this I'll delete this what, what the alright so here we have a set clip I'm not too sure if this is really good but whatever It'll do, it'll do. There will be a little test or a little comparison of the difference in qualities at the end of the video so you can tell the difference. Alright, so firstly when I import my clip, I do this, I do that. And then I hit this little event FX button. Hit that. And I already have a preset for this called Hop Hodge. Makes a clip look nicer as you can see here. It's like that. Double click. Hit OK. And boom. Makes all the colors look crazy. Alright, so first we have to import color corrector secondary, and here are all my little settings. Let's open this up more. Color, color corrector secondary. Rotate hue 0, saturation 2.068, gamma 1.0, gain 1.0, offset 0, alpha 1.0, angle 0, magnitude 0, low on the limit luminance 0 high 255 and smooth 0 and on the limit saturation low 0 high 162 and smooth 0 on the limit hue we got 180 for the center with 360 smooth 0 and you're also going to want to import levels once you got that input start 0.017 input end 1, output start 0, output end 1, and gamma 1. You're going to also want to import saturation adjust, amount point 2500, center 0, spread 1, and then low and the high, both 0. Also, you're going to want to add sharpen to make the video look nicer, I guess. I have different settings for this. I'm, I'm not too sure which one's different I mean which one's better than the other they both they all look the same to me but I use HDPVR point one three four and then forget you don't need to add that so these four color sec color corrector secondary levels saturation adjust and sharpen add all those and it'll make your video look like a fucking masterpiece like mine do I'm kidding but ignore that and then once you're done with your video have it all set together, have it all set up, go to file, render as, and I use Windows Media Video version 11, because I'm on a, what is this, Windows computer I guess, I don't even know, and I already have a preset for this, so I'll go over all the settings, so I get a custom, audio, CBR, you can, cl you can click quality VBR, that's of course a lot better but it does take a, a while to render it takes like an extra hour or 30 minutes format windows media audio 9.2 attributes 64 kilo bbb i don't even know just this one 64 k bps 44 k hz stereo a slash v cbr as for the video we got cbr for the mode format windows media video 9 and then image size 1280 by 720 because that's 
what I render out in and I've done um, 1080p quality or whatever but it just takes like an extra two or three hours to render so I gave up and I just started rendering it out in 20, 1280 by 720 my bet and then pixel aspect ratio 1.0 frame rate per second 30 and then seconds per keyframe 3 and then I'm not too sure if that's checked off already but uncheck it video smoothness video smoothness 100 bit rate you don't need to worry about that just click internet LAN and then 5M index slash summary you don't need to worry about this project click it at best because you of course you want to render out in best quality but before you do all the oh yeah, by the way only check off save project markers in media file because that's just what I do and some of y'all want to know my render settings so hopefully you will follow this but before you go into doing all this little bullshit simply hit alt enter and this it will bring up project properties and click HDV 720 slash I mean dash 30p and then in parentheses 1280 by 720 at 29.9970 frames per second so click that and then of course it'll give you the basic everything but let's just go over it for those of you who don't know like what this is field order none pixel aspect ratio one my bad I think I said one there but it's none output rotation zero frame rate 29.970 NT S C pixel format 8 bit full resolution rendering quality best as always motion blur type Gaussian the interlace method blend fields and just hit apply and yeah it may look bad up here but once you render it out it should look a little bit better so there will be a little comparison between the first video like without the CC and then the second video with the CC so you'll see the comparison on how to make my quality look a little bit better so hopefully this has helped you all remember to go comment rate and subscribe I mean not rate like like my videos cuz there's no more rate button cuz I get YouTube so peace hardcore search and destroy defend the objective UAV recon is standing by. Oh! Predator missile ready for launch. Repeat. Predator missile ready for launch. Relax and take notes while, while, while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Relax and take notes. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. I just.